what is going on youtube this is your boy pan today's video i'm going to teach you how you can install local business schema on your wordpress website completely for free many people like to overcomplicate this they think you need to be a technical genius or you need to know how to code or you have to pay someone but you don't need to do any of that i'm going to walk you through how to download it and actually set it up so you can get your local business schema up and running on your wordpress website and i'm also going to show you how you can use the schema test a checker that Google provides so that you can make sure that your schema is up and running correctly, right? So without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, guys, now we are in my laptop. So first of all, I kind of first want to explain kind of what is local business schema, right? Some of you guys might be, you know, business owners and you might not know exactly what local business schema is or what is the purpose of it. Um, and basically what it is, is just structured data, uh, just a piece of code that you put on your website, right? in order to help search engines such as, you know, Google, in order to kind of understand uh, what your website is about, what are the services that you provide and so forth, right? So if you're a local business, you do want to make sure you are downloading or implementing, you know, local business schema, right? We wanna make it as easy on Google as it is in order to understand what they need to rank us for or what area or city we're located in, right? So what we what you can see here is you you can see here that it says the main content areas you want to focus on so these are pretty much the things that we want to include when you're doing you know local business schema uh, you want to make sure you know you have your your, your cell phone your name uh, a description right of your services you want to include you know those keywords of the different services that you provide um you do want to make sure you include your uh, geo your longitude and latitude right of your business uh, and this is going to let Google understand, you know, where exactly are you located, right? Um, and then of course you want to have your address and so forth. So these are some of the important things and I'm going to actually be walking you through exactly each one of these, so don't worry about it. So that's basically what it is guys. And like I said, WordPress makes it very easy to, to implement this. So let's get right over there. Now we are in the WordPress dashboard. You can see here, this is what you see when you first come, come into uh, WordPress, right? So what we want to do first is we want to download the plugin, right? Um, so we, if you go over to plugins and go to add new, and then what we're going to do is we're actually going to search for it. So let's go into search and let's do WP SEO schema. Right. Yeah. WP SEO schema. Um, looks like it is this one right here. WP structured data schema. I already have it downloaded and activated, but if you don't, just make sure you press install now and then make sure to activate it. Now, once you have this activated, what you wanna do is you, you wanna go over here to the left-hand side and scroll down to where it says WP SEO schema. Let's go ahead and click on this. And then once we're here, guys, this is where we can actually, you know, choose the type of schema that we want. Um, you know, if you're not a local business, you know, they have many other options that you can do. Um, so what you would do here is you just go to site type and then just click on the drop down. and under organization, you can see that they have a bunch of different options, right? Um, so if you're one of these specific ones, uh, you can actually go ahead and choose, right? Um, if you're one of these, right? Um, there wasn't one for landscaping, which is why I just went ahead and went with the local business. Um, but if you do provide any of these specific ones, so they have like auto repair, auto rental, uh, they have, you know, day spa, dentist, you know, they have a bunch of different ones. Um, I haven't seen any other plugin that actually gives you this many specific type of this, of local business schema that you can choose. Um, so this is a great plugin guys. Um, but like I said, there wasn't one for landscaping. So I just chose local business. And then what you want to do, of course, make sure you have the correct URL, make sure you know it's HTTPS, um, organization or business name, go ahead and name, you know, the name of the company, put an image, uh, put an image of the owner. Um, you can just do any image, you know, related to, to the website, the business, um, price range, this, you know, depending on how expensive you are, you know, you could do a set you, up to three, right? Depending on if, how expensive your services are. Uh, for this particular business, I'm just doing, you know, the $1 sign. And then make sure you have the correct phone number, right? Um, very important, you wanna make sure you have the correct telephone number. 
um, additional type this is optional I just went ahead and left this blank um, and then when it goes to other local business info make sure you include a nice keyword rich description you can see here I mentioned a Dallas based landscaping and lawn care company and then I also provided each of these services right so you know if you offer multiple services make sure you name all those services in this description very important guys um, then we have the operation hours make sure you put the correct hours and then we go down to the geo coordinates right latitude and longitude what you can do to find out what it is it's very simple just type in your business right pull it up on google my business let me see if i can scroll this down a bit um so once you click on your actual google maps uh, google my business go up to the url and it's actually going to show you the latitude and longitude right so just copy both of these um into those boxes right pretty simple to do um just make sure you do that correctly right there's going to greatly greatly help out you know your geo coordinates regarding google understanding of where your business is is located and the area that you service right the more specific and local that we can get the better it will be for you know search engines to understand uh what what cities they need to rank us in for and then of course make sure you have the correct address uh, address county you know us if you're in the us address locality this means the city that you're in right we're in data texas region texas postal code and street address right all of this is pretty straightforward guys um this is only for the pro version uh, but you don't need this so you can just leave that alone and then down here uh, make sure you again you just put the site name and the site url right alternative name you can leave that blank and then just make sure you save changes very simple guys like i said no technical stuff needed uh, all of this is pretty pretty easy to do and then what we can do just to make sure you know that our structured data is set up correctly if you go to google and just type in structured data testing tool it should be the first one that pops up so if you click on this let's go ahead and pull it up and then let's go ahead and type in um, our url to see if it is done correctly right let's go ahead and run test and if it's done correctly, it should bring up, you know, the local business schema that we just implemented, right? Uh, so we can see we have local business right here. It is detected. So that means it is working, right? And then you can kind of go in here and make sure that all your stuff is correct. Uh, just to, you know, double check, right? Um, so we can see here that our local business schema is set up, up and running. Um, and we're going to be good to go, right? Very important if you're a local business owner or if you have, you know, if you're providing, you know, local, local SEO services, right? Very important. And it's very simple to do with, you know, WP SEO structured data schema. I hope you guys learned something and got some value out of this. If you did, please leave me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe for some more SEO related videos and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.